Today we're going to be talking about threshold profiles in CA performance management. In order to follow along, you'll need to have a user with administer threshold profiles roles. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the administration tab, threshold profiles. You'll see on the left hand side that I can organize my threshold profiles inside folders. So I'm going to create a new one here for my CPUs. Once I have my folder created, I can select it, and now I can add a new profile into that folder. I'm going to call this one CPU Thresholds. And now I'm going to create an event rule. If this rule is triggered, then an event will occur in the system. That event can then be sent out via notifications. The first one I'm going to do is any CPU over 90% utilization creates an event. The metric family is CPU. You can see I can choose whether to aggregate or not. What that means is if a device has several CPUs, if I choose no aggregation, each CPU will be monitored. If I choose aggregate, then they will be aggregated together and the average of their value will be used to evaluate the rule. I'm going to say no aggregation. I can choose the severity of the alarm. I'll keep this at major. The metric that I want is utilization percentage. You'll notice in all of these boxes I can simply type in and it will filter down. I'm going to enter a value of 90 and I'm going to clear this alarm when it reaches 90% or below. I'm going to go ahead and save this rule. And now, anytime my CPU is above 90%, I will trigger an event. Or anytime it's below 90%, I will clear an event if one is there. This is great if you want a, a static value. But say you want to know if something abnormal is happening in the system. We can do that as well. I'm going to create a new event in the same threshold profile. And I'm going to call this one abnormal CPU. I'm going to use the same metric family, CPU. I'm going to keep the same severity, and I'm also going to use the same metric. However, now instead of a fixed value, I'm going to use standard deviations. So I'm going to say if something is above one standard deviation from normal, trigger an event so that I'm aware of it. Also, you can clear that if it falls below one standard deviation. And now this event rule, or this profile, has two different rules in it. One, a hard limit at 90%, and then one that will follow the average values, and one that will look for abnormal conditions. I'm going to go ahead and save this profile. Now I'm back at my folder view. I can open up CPU thresholds, and I can see the new profile that we've created. If I click on it, you'll see the different event rules that we've populated. One that's 90% CPU utilization, and one that's a normal CPU. As I click on the different event rules, you'll see the conditions below. 